Thank you for tuning in to the Tech Me Show. This is Lance Seidman coming at you from Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we will be doing a Google uh, Hangout today, so if you find us on Google+, uh, you definitely should. Uh, I highly recommend it, obviously. We'd love to have you in our Hangout. And nonetheless, we would love to also help you with any computer issues or technology questions you may have uh that's what we're here for that's why the hangouts are here and that's why we need you um on our google plus hangout so today as you notice we're in audacity which is an amazing free program for windows uh and it may be for other platforms um i'm not sure unfortunately however nonetheless this product is magnificent and again did i say it was free I think so, but I just had to mention it again. It is a great product, okay? So, right now, in our project, normally we would change the project rate hertz, uh, but I'm going to leave it at the 4100, as you see here. Um, so we're going to leave that alone. I'm sorry, 44, uh, 44,100 hertz. But we're going to leave that, okay? So here we have our record button. We have our pause button, play, and stop, and then obviously your skip to start and then skip to end, which in Audacity is very useful, especially if you zoom in on your work. So right now we have the default 17 uh, second display, which we're going to leave. Uh, and again, you can always uh, uh, zoom in by clicking zoom in once you have something in your project. But now we're just going to do a real quick test to show you how changing the rate hurts. Uh, it, it, it can make quite a bit of a difference. And we'll even do an effect much like you saw in uh, old school. Uh, with Will Ferrell around the pool scene when he gets shot with the dart. And uh, when I say dart, I mean the animal tranquilizer. And one more thing we're really going to show you how to do. If you've ever wanted to sound like a chipmunk or kind of like Fred, the YouTube all-star, um, who now I believe has a show on Nickelodeon. Uh, a little late, I think his uh, YouTube success has kind of died down. Um, but nonetheless, good for him that he was able to get somewhere with just something so simple. Uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, make some uh, test audio here and uh, get started. So, we'll go forth and select the record button by doing so and left clicking like this. This is for the Tech Me Show. Are we funny? Are we sad? How do we sound? So now we just recorded a little less than seven seconds of audio. Now, before I show you how to do anything, I want to just play the audio real quick for you. How you'll hear some silence and then the audio. Um, and we're just going to cut it out a little bit just so that uh, when I zoom in, it goes quicker. But you always should kind of leave a gap before you start talking. It is a good uh, method, that way you ensure that you have what you were saying. Uh, much like in the movie uh, studios or on radio, uh, the light goes on, they point, and you wait a couple seconds to speak. That way nothing gets lost. Uh, nonetheless, but let's go ahead and replay this real quick. This is, and as you see, just like it looks in this WAV format, um, it, it, it gets uh, much louder. Um, once it hits that peak. So we're going to go ahead and go a little before there and go to edit. I'm sorry. Yeah, edit. And we're going to go to remove audio and we're going to select delete. Now if we press play, this is for it went straight to the point. But let's go ahead and have fun, guys. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, our uh, track here. Here you have your audio track. Uh, which, mind you, you have your mute, and you can increase the gain uh, to make it louder or, you know, uh, not. Uh, it goes by dB, uh, which is, I believe is decibel. And then you have your ability to change the audio to your left and right, uh, which is terrific only because if you try to do a surround sound project, you can have a certain sound being only what's going to be on the right and another one only on the left, um, which is great like i said i really am in love with this product but let's go ahead and uh, go to the audio track here and now we're going to go ahead and set the rate and just so you know our set sample rate is 32-bit float 
Uh, but now let's go ahead and click the set rate. As you see, we're at the 44 uh, hertz. Uh, obviously, it's 44,100, but we're just going to do with the two front numbers. Uh, and, you know, let's slow it down just a little bit by going down to 22 and see what that does. And as you see, it made the clip a lot longer. It's 12 seconds. So let's go ahead and press the play button and see what happened. This is what the technique said. Are we funny? Are we sad? How do we sound? <laughs> and as you see, that's more of that Will Ferrell sound uh, that I was talking about regarding old school. But let's go ahead and undo the rate change here. And let's go back and play some more, guys. Let's go to set rate. And, you know, let's uh, up it to 4,800. And let's see what happens. As you see, it actually shrunk the clip this time. So let's see what it did, guys. This is for the Tech Me Show. Are we funny? Are we sad? How do we sound? Now, obviously, that sounds pretty similar to myself. Uh, very girly, nonetheless. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for that girly effect, uh, just call me or uh, <laughs> whatever. All right, so let's go back and go to a set rate, and let's up it to 9,600. Now, mind you, it's a little bit over six seconds. Let's see what happens. Wow. It almost uh, went in half. We were basically did. Um, so now let's go ahead and see if we can get that sound it's very similar uh, to, well, you, you tell me. Ready? Let's play. And as you see, we almost had like an Alvin and the Chipmunk sound more than uh, Fred. Obviously, if we slowed it down a little bit, we can get there. Uh, but nonetheless, um, that sounded pretty funny and as you see if you lower it um it does basically that slow-mo sound and obviously makes your clip longer um and then you have uh the ability to make it go faster and sound more like a chipmunk um and as you see that they're all great especially if you're making movies or content from youtube and uh, either doing cartoons or just looking for a funny effect uh nothing's funnier than having crazy sounds or different effects um to make your video better which is why at the tech me show if you notice our new videos in the beginning instead of having that silent intro we're now actually putting in some uh basically an audio sound clip that is completely free everybody's allowed to download it um we were given it and recommended to it um, and we're using it nonetheless, so uh, check out the credits and you'll see the song. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, let's just lastly hear what that original audio sounded like so we can think about how great that really was. So let's go ahead and press play now. This is for the Tech Me Show. Are we funny? Are we sad? How do we sound? And that just goes to show how great Audacity is. And again, there are ways to get rid of those clicks and removals and the high points and pitches and what have you by going to the effects, which look at that, guys. That's quite a bit. Um, and we're going to make another uh, video of how to get rid of that background sound, especially if you're at home, you're near computers and you're recording, uh, as most people do not have professional setups. Uh, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the Tech Me Show. Please follow us at Tech Me Show on uh, Twitter. And we're also, like I said, on Google+. Plus. Add us to Google+. Plus. We plan on having a show at least once a week, and that means in seven days we'll have at least one show. And with you, the people. We'd love to answer your questions, comments, or anything you'd like to talk about. So please find us on Google+, Plus, which is our Tech Me Show. And again, follow us on Twitter, at Tech Me Show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.